Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today we're going to be talking about women's wellness. Uh, last week, it was Women's International Day and the whole week. I like to celebrate not only a day, not only a week, but the whole month because it is March. It is springtime. And I believe we as women truly really come to blossom and be the best version of who we are, who we are every single day. So if you are watching and if you are a woman, realize that every single day you blossom and it is time to spring forward in life. And how do we do this? Well, my name is Lisa Bubari by trade. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and every week I come live to inform you, educate you, or give you inspirations for you to feel better about yourself, your mental health, your emotional health, and realize that in order for any transformation, you have to heal within first. So let us begin today's mission. Uh, I call it a mission, I call it a session. So hello, it's so good to be here with you. Let's start with this. Did you know that in the last uh, decade, actually in the last decade, especially after the COVID, during COVID, it really got worse. But after COVID, going back to work and everything, the stress level of women dealing with uh, not only their own depression, but with their children, especially teens. I got more moms coming in here that working through not only what they feel, they feel depleted, overexhausted, overwhelmed, unappreciated, and undervalued. And those are specifically most of my clientele. But here's what's been happening. Did you know that women experience 30% more chronic stress and fatigue than men do, especially at the workplace? So overall, I was checking statistics and 70 million loss in the corporate world due to stress, depression, and mental health has been happening in the last uh, three years, specifically in the last uh, three years. But when we are looking, the 70 million was in the last de decade. Okay. And because I was checking more on that chronic stress and fatigue and everything, because that's m most of my clients, women suffer from anxiety disorder four times more than men do. Of course, we know that uh, men have a lot of anxiety disorders, men have the heart attacks, especially in their early 50s and everything, but statistically, women go through this more than that because one out of five women are uh, has been uh, documented that they go through more of depression. So, as a woman, I was wondering why is there so much of that? I mean, I see my clients, those are the reasons they come in for. But that's because women are more overwhelmed because of being hands-on with children at home and taking care of the household, taking care of especially if they are in where I am in the mid uh late 50s, early 60s, taking care of their parents and their families. So it's this juggling of taking care of the health of the parents, dealing with aged uh, women, uh, parents who are aged and everything, and then dealing with children that are at home, dealing with their issues, especially after COVID, okay? So kids are going through all that, the mother has to deal with all this. So, 
and then tension with the parent and the partner. So the parent, partners. It comes to the need of sensuality, sex, um, their own needs of taking care of themselves. And then there is expectations, family expectations, workplace expectations, children expecting certain things. And then what about me, right? What about my expectations? What about my wants and needs? So women have to do it in a whole different way of, that's why they feel exhausted. It's like, I have no time for me. So when it comes, what do they succumb to? Overeating, over shopping, or maybe even alcoholism and drug abuse. Those are the four different major things that it's happening that has been documented. So how is all this being treated? When we look at that, this is how we can hack if you are going through fatigue. I have clients there saying, I'm so exhausted that I can't even take care of the house. Single mom, dealing with work, pressure at work, and then has to compete in order to keep her job. And then there's the children and dealing with divorce, divorce and health, money worries, and keeping up with the Joneses. Those are the f major things that are happening. So she's falling asleep behind the wheel. She's fatigued. And I don't know if you relate to this or maybe you know someone who's relating with that. And the worst part, she thinks she has no one to talk to. So she stuffs herself with food and then she stuffs herself and is not expressing. So there is very I feel even depleted sometimes, exhausted from the juggling from work and parents and everything. And yet, when I look at my, some of my friends, that they have not only two children, three children, they are high achievers. And not only that, I have a client that also has school. She's taking school, dealing with two kids, a husband, and an ill mom. I call it kudos to you, bravo. So when you start spinning too many plates, and then you wonder why you are exhausted, why you have chronic illness, why you feel depressed, why you feel overwhelmed and overweight is because of all this. So last night I'm talking to a client slash friend. She said, she was crying, she's in tears. She's like, I can't find myself. I can't find myself. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I don't even look at myself. I just put the lipstick on, the makeup on, and I just function. Now, that's more than 50% of us. And I'm not saying men do not go through this, but I call this existing, not living. So as a clinical hypnotherapist, what I do is give you tools give you tools that becomes easier and faster for you to do this. You can do the self hypnosis. Yes, you can do meditation, but you don't have to do half an hour of meditation because to her it's like, find me half an hour, carve half an hour for me to sit and meditate. I just need some time for myself that I can even take a shower without being interrupted. So ladies, you have to find some boundaries and create boundaries for yourself. 
you have to have some set some limitations of this is my me time that you carve that time for yourself so that time that it's like I have to do this I have to do that I have to do this goes away so the power that you have within yourself is to that self appreciation I'm not saying self-centered selfishness and self-appreciation so exercising dancing eating healthier foods you say okay check mark I do that managing your own self-empowering techniques that if you have to take a shower or when you're in the bathroom and you've got younger kids close the door that's your time getting more sleep even if it is profound sleep of five hours of deep sleep profound sleep is more important than shallow eight hours of shallow sleep okay so five hours profound deep sleep is far greater than eight hours of constantly being on guard and being fear-based and you know what I'm talking about if that is you if you are walking on eggshells and you cannot sleep please contact me or reach out to a friend and talk here's another thing your leisure activities is not going on online QVC but if that helps you if that gives you half an hour of just scrolling on QVC to see what you like what you don't like what you like what you don't like and instead of shopping I like to call it shop the windows window shop but you don't have to buy remember sometimes we do things because of we need that instant gratification but that instant gratification does not satisfy the core need which is you which is saying how do I value myself if you're not being appreciated from outside if you're not being appreciated that drinking that overeating that shopping things that are just instantaneous I can give you instantaneous techniques that you just instantly take yourself from zero to ten of if you do certain techniques and everything that's what I teach at my uh, workshops as a matter of fact this coming workshop the last Tuesday of the month if you are in the LA area if you are local join us this is how to overcome or manage being overwhelmed and over exhausted if you want to that's my workshop so come here I can even teach you self hypnosis so that you can take yourself in a deeper state of relaxation in three minutes and in seven minutes you will feel rejuvenated and less stress okay so that's another time um, that's building stress reduction skills those are how you can overcome stress and yes they call it mindfulness but I don't want you to create your mind full of other things I want you to empty the bucket every thought every, if you have negative thoughts if you have overwhelm if you feel exhausted no matter what it is validate it remember one one of my biggest quotes keep the best dump the rest keep the best dump the rest the best affirmations the best techniques the best words that someone has told you and then everything else that it's negative everything that creates more exhaustion or you feel depleted or angry at and you just feel like <laughs> like literally doing this either to someone or something or just want to break something break the habit break through that negativity break through that and dump it literally you know I work with 
weight issues. And I constantly say, in stand up to slim down. What does that mean? Stand up for who you are. That's how you drop all that weight. Stand up for your beliefs. That's how you become lighter. Okay? So, here's another way. There are 12 techniques that you can go through if you feel fatigued. Number one, ditch inflammatory foods. Foods that make you feel bloated. Did you know that eggplants are the number one? I love eggplants, but it makes you feel bloated. Doughy stuff, doughy, that when it goes and it gets uh, wet in your stomach, it goes boom, right? Ditch that for a day, for a week, so you feel less inflamed, okay? Number two, stay hydrated. Drink your water. This is one of my favorite waters. I want to talk about it. It's called V3. It's, it's got a lot of electro, uh, 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 alkaline. It's water. It's pH 9.0. Stay hydrated. Your kind of water, no matter what it is, okay? Drink a lot of liquids, okay? Keep food and keep a journal of what you eat, what you do. Don't cut everything out. Be mindful of what it is and then dump the rest. So, caffeine also make you dehydrated and feel depleted. Check your, uh, check your sugar intake. Yes, I'm not a dietitian, but one of the things is when we overeat, sugars and we feel depleted we need to take so if you're going to eat it the best one is dark chocolate take a piece put it on your tongue and let that go up on your palate and as you savor it it gives you not only that energy and everything but you also feel satisfied in life it is finding what works for you. There's a lot of people who tell you a lot of things. Do this, do that. I'm not here to say. I'm here to give you suggestions. I work with your emotional and mental health. So if you feel resentment, anger, frustration, those are all things that eat at you. And then what you do is you go eat more of. That's the part I work with. I want you to take a hold and manage your own stress in a more loving way, kinder way, in a more feminine way, in a way that works for you. You know, as a matter of fact, I want to say this. If you or someone you know, especially as an Armenian woman, if that is you and you believe you have a message, you want to leave a legacy and you want to make an impact in the lives of other Armenian women and girls, get in touch with me. I'm going to put a link over here. Get in touch with me. Collaborate in one of the books called The Powerful She With Me. So that said, I know every single one of us has a story, has the power to stand up, to show up, to speak up. Let us empower one another. I am here to hold space for you, to support you, to walk with you, and sometimes stand in front of you to protect you. But I want you to know that you have the same within you. My name is Lisa Bubari. Isn't it time for you to see the best in you? Shed a light. Look yourself in the mirror. Maybe even smile and realize today you are present.
You can you don't have to be superwoman. But it isn't it time for you to start living instead of just existing. And I urge you to do this for yourself and for your loved ones. So, if I can help you in any shape or form, just give me a call. The link is below. Join me and know that you can because you matter. Today's message is short, but I gave you a lot of tools and techniques. And until next week, I bid you goodbye and realize it's time to spring forward and blossom to who you are. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.